James and I are here in Missouri at Lake of the Ozarks. We just found a cove with no boat in it and we're gonna get to fishing. If you guys have been enjoying these videos and you're not already subscribed, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 100K by the end of this trip. And Before the end of this trip. If you guys really like this content, content, not comment, uh, like, like and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your we've nieces been, and nephews. We've been having a great time. Your grandkids. Also, shout out to Kevin Gunn for hooking us up with uh, fishing licenses for the day. Appreciate it, buddy. Let's catch some fish. I'm stoked. <sighs> First cast, Lake of the Ozarks. This place is beautiful. It's huge. Okay. All right, 51.9. I'll take that, that's cool. It's chilly, but that's when the pre-spawn mamas come out. What did we see yesterday? 54? 55 was the high? Yeah. That water temperature will go up too, for sure. Hitting all these little cuts and creeks and guts. Fishing shallow for the most part. Oh yeah, I do too. That's good though. There you go. Good as new. You wanted me to retie that knot. I do want you to retie that knot from yesterday. <laughs> Let me feel the line. Go up slow. But it's like, do you feel how it's kinked and like kind of? No, I haven't felt it at all. <laughs> What's the saying? You can lead a horse to water, but you can't force him to drink. I think that's what it is. <laughs> what are you feeling? I'm feeling you should retie that spinner. Right there. Yeah, like the worst spot it could be. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> I can massage it I out, mean, dude. Dude, it doesn't matter that much, but what's gonna happen is, like, is I'm gonna lose. If you lose it <laughs> from getting snagged, that's one thing that happens. But if you lose a fish, you're gonna be more upset that you lost the fish than. The time it would have been fate, and, and I didn't deserve that fish then. Well, that's why you retire. It, God it? works in mysterious ways. The only thing that pisses me off is like human error. Like if you if you break off. Then why did you break me? <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> All right, let's jump across. I slowed it down with the jig for a little bit. Ripped that around the main lake point. This bank just looks. Too good for a spinnerbait. A little snaggy. I've already gone through Ned rig, Texas rig, spinnerbait, crankbait, jig in like an hour. 53.4 came up already. Was it 51.7 or 9? All right, dude, let's get out of here. Let's go find another cove creek. Cove slash creek. We're fishing in Grand Glaze Creek. I want to say it's Grand Glaze. It's, it's probably not pronounced that way. More than likely. Grand Glaze. Glossy. Glossy. So we've just been hopping around creeks and little pockets all morning. No bites yet. We saw some shad in the back of the last creek we were in. But we just moved down to Jack's Creek. Jack's Point. Jack's Point. That was Jack's Point. Maybe this is Jack's Creek. Huh. We're gonna fish a little bit. We're gonna keep moving around. I've seen some fish. There's actually a lot of fish. There's a fish. Oh no! That was a fish for sure. Oh, I just got rocked. Lake of the Ozarks has given us trouble. We need to find the fish, James. There's definitely a lot of fish rolling around. Hoping they're gonna turn on later this afternoon, but we just moved up closer to the ramp a little bit. Hopefully, uh, be able to figure something out. I tied on a finesse jig and a weightless Senko on my spinning rod, and we're just gonna work our way through the rest of these cuts. Maybe fish a little main lake, just to see. I don't know, we're definitely marking a ton of fish, though. Probably more than we've seen anywhere. I really didn't think it was going to be this tough out here today. Come on, Bandito. 
Trying to fish a little bit deeper now. Fishing the secondary point goes from like five feet down to 18. Marked quite a few fish up there too. Slow dragging the Texas rig. Might have to go back to the Ned rig. Got him! Yes! Took all day. Come here, buddy. Oh boy. Bandito bug. Black and blue bandito bug on a Texas rig. Little guy, but hey. First fish of Lake of the Ozarks. Uh, let's see, what time do we get out? 10? Probably before that, actually. So we've probably been out for like six hours. Really? Feels really good. We've been running around like crazy looking for this fish. Little one. Got him on the bandito bug. The bandito bug. Texas rigged. We're gonna keep throwing it around. Let's get some more. Not skunked. See ya. healthier fish a little bigger they're cold though I think these pre-spawn fish are like these are the deeper ones we're fishing for the deeper fish that have not moved up yet they're in I mean we're sitting in 12 feet now out on the main lake creek in the main lake bandito bug Texas rig getting it done thanks buddy Slow dragging the Texas rig. Who'd have thunk it? Oh. This one feels a little bigger, dude. Oh, yeah. Is he getting the boat flip? I think he is. All right, I think we figured something out. So most of the morning, we spent just covering water really, really quick, shallow in creeks. And then we switched it up this afternoon and went a little bit deeper fishing points and secondary points. We've caught four fish now. We've been grinding all day. It's uh, almost four pounds, three, eight, nine. I'll take it. Texas rig bandito bug. Long day, we're finding fish now at the end. I'm like tired and hungry, and I can't stop. She is ready. I think you should put a bandito bug on, James. Ah, uh, I'll think about it. So here's the setup: using a four aught Gamagatsu, three eighths ounce tungsten weight, have it pegged, and a black and blue bandito bug. Throwing it on 20 pound fluorocarbon and a 7.4 favorite rod, thanks to John B. High speed gear ratio to Tula, it's the eight to one. It's money, it's like my favorite Texas rig setup. So the boat was sitting in about 22 feet, I think, maybe 24. Just making really long casts and slowly dragging this thing over the rocks. Just threading it through. Nothing crazy. James is about to show y'all how it's done. He's gonna catch a six pounder. Three minutes left. I'm gonna try to catch another fish in three minutes. It's okay, buddy. You're doing a great job. You caught a fish today. All right, till tomorrow. That was fun. We figured something out. Got some. That's all that matters. I think getting James food is all that matters right now. And me.
I'm stoked. We're supposed to stay at Lake of the Ozarks for another day, but it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, so we might just call it. We might just go down to Oklahoma tonight. Because it's supposed to rain down there, but only until like 10 a.m. So we'd have a good full afternoon of fishing instead of being out in the rain all day. I don't mind fishing in the rain. Filming in the rain sucks. But yeah. How do you feel about it? You want to fish in the rain? Or go to Oklahoma? What do you want to do? Not fish in the rain. So it's a couple days after we left Lake of the Ozarks. I just realized I did not close this video out. And we did end up leaving. We fished there for the one day. And then we ran away from the rain and went to Oklahoma. Lake of the Ozarks was a really cool place. I definitely look forward to going back there. I wish we could have spent more time. But we did catch some fish. It took all day. We didn't catch anything until the last spot. And it may not seem like it in this video, but we were out there for six and a half hours before catching anything. We had a couple bites, and that's about it. But I will be back to Lake of the Ozarks sometime, probably this summer. I'd like to come back in the summer. We have to get on the way to, where are we going? Pickwick. Sure. Mississippi. Somewhere far. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me if you're not already subscribed. And we'll see you on the next one. Hmm. On the next one, he says. Which one was that?